the children will lead the way. It does start with the youth. Chicago is a tough city. It has quite a bit of gun violence and just violence in general. And it's important for the organizations to step in and try to do something about it. And I think that a lot of them are to keep young people off the streets and actually doing something so they, they won't get shot or they won't get hurt or they won't even have to be involved in any of the things that's happening in Chicago right now. I think it's important that the government provides funding for organizations so they can allocate those funds for youth because the youth are our future. Yeah, one of the roles that the government plays is providing us with resources, but I don't think that they're providing us with enough. Some people think that just receiving, you know, food assistance every month is enough or the, the medical cards is just enough, but it's really, um, it, it's deeper than that, it really is. I don't think that the government in particular is providing enough resources. Um, I think that the resources are misguided, they're misallocated, and we're prioritizing the wrong things. We need more funds to be able to service more youth so that we can help them to get off the street and to help them to develop skills that will make them employable and to help them to find what it is that they really want to do. I believe the government is doing what they can but I believe they can do more than what they're doing right now. At this time, I am working with UCAN as a housing resource specialist, and one of the jobs that I did start off with is working in the workforce development area which basically I was youth between the ages of 18 and 24, their career coach. Teaching them job readiness skills, teaching them the importance of employment, attendance, helping them to really navigate from moving from a very sedentary state in their life to actually being very productive when it comes to the workforce. And I absolutely love what I do because I get an opportunity to see youth grow. My role is basically to make sure that everyone has what they need, that the instructors have what they need to be successful, to have great programming for their teens, uh, and to make sure that the teens are all right, that they're feeling comfortable, that they're getting paid on time, that you know they're learning. We're a um, daycare center, and most of our students are from the inner city, and they come to us without a lot of skills that's needed for the transition into elementary school. So we provide that, we do a readiness program that gets them ready for kindergarten and all the tools that they need to survive. Because it's very important, because I used to notice a lot of children that used to come into the kindergarten, they didn't know their names, they didn't know any letters of the alphabet. So when they leave here, you know, they're well prepared. My childhood before organizations like SAIC was kind of boring. Uh, all I did was just go in and out of school and just watch TV all the time. Some of the problems I was faced with as a child was basically I didn't really know how to express myself good enough. And I've definitely seen uh, lots of children and receive services, receive love. I've seen families transform, meaning like mothers losing their children due to situations and then getting their, their children back, uh, homelessness to homes. So I've definitely seen some changes take place. Some of the programs before and now, they improve my craft, basically. Even give me ideas of what I can do for the community. So I have a, a teen, well, she's no longer a teen, but she's undocumented, grew up through after school matters, going to high school. 
Um, and because she's undocumented, she, doesn't have, she has limited access to resources, no access to financial aid when it comes to college. And uh, she got through college. She just finished getting her degree in film. And you know, it's a tremendous growth program. I do think that they're doing a really good job. For example, Free Spirit Media, we have the resources that we need to continue to do what we do best, and that's just create media. We have the resources to do so, and I'm, I'm grateful for that because if it wasn't for like Free Spirit Media, honestly, I don't know what I would be doing like with my life because I, yeah, Free Spirit helps me a lot. I think it's important, you know, we put a lot on, on the government and I think that they do have a responsibility, but I think that it's important that we are vocal and that we, we voice our opinion and that we let people know what the need is. It would help if more people were involved. I want the children to be learning and growing because the things that we teach them and tell them, the music we let them listen to, all have, all have an effect on the adults that they become, all have an effect on the things that they want to pursue in life and it's very important that we continue to build them up and not let them down.